So yeah, up in the, in the Arctic, there's soils that have been frozen for thousands of years. And in those soils, there's carbon that's also been frozen for just as long. And today, that amount of carbon is equivalent to many times the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And so we've been up there to study what's likely to happen to it as those Arctic soils thaw. So the Arctic is warming. And that means that those soils that have been frozen for thousands of years are starting to defrost. And we want to know what happens when they defrost. Does the, where does that carbon go? And really importantly, once it's released from those frozen soils, does it turn into carbon dioxide and end up in the atmosphere, which then would drive even further climate change? And so we think that as the Arctic warms, these soils are thawing and we, we want to know what happens to this carbon. Does it get converted to carbon dioxide by microbes once it's released from that deep freeze? Or will it stay there in the soil afterwards? And so we, we went up to Siberia and we took uh, water that is coming from these soils and we mixed it with river water and the bacteria in river water that are living today in the Arctic. And we wanted to see how quickly that carbon from the frozen soils gets turned into carbon dioxide once it gets into a river today. So we found that once this 20,000 year old organic carbon gets into a river and the bacteria can get at it, then 60% um, of it, more than half of it, goes away just in two weeks. And so very quickly this 20,000 year old carbon gets converted to carbon dioxide and will end up in the atmosphere. So as you add more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere this will drive further warming and this presumably will drive further thawing and so there will be an acceleration of the ongoing climate change in the Arctic. Um, the extent of this is really unknown. We know there's a, a massive amount of carbon stored in these frozen soils. It's uh, 17,000 billion tons, so a massive number, really hard to conceive. But that's more than the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere today. So we know that this stuff is converted to CO2 when it gets into a river. And we know these soils are thawing, increasing the likelihood of that happening. But the actual rates at which it's happening and how much of it will end up in rivers and as CO2 is where our current research is, is looking. Try and refine those numbers.